three, go. Over 900 participants ran, crawled, swung, and smiled their way through the kids' ultimate challenge at Burgoyne Woods. We had a few challenges. Uh, we were concerned about participation, but uh, just thrilled that we have over 900 kids participating again. Uh, we estimated to hopefully get 250, and we're right back to where we left this event off two years ago, so we couldn't be happier with the turnout. You also had to re-engage with an army of volunteers that it takes to pull this off. Tell me about that process. We did. So we had to reach out to our volunteer database just to see who was still there and could help us. And then we went through some different avenues um, with Brock University, with uh, some of the local high schools to just, you know, get that group back up to the 700 or so volunteers we needed for this event. As in years past, the funds raised at the Kids Ultimate Challenge will be used to purchase needed equipment for the Children's Health Neonatal Unit. All these, um, this fundraising is great to buy um, much needed equipment to help with children's health. Um, we've used the money for buying things like echocardiograms to check children's hearts. Uh, we've used it for uh, warmers for neonates, so babies that are born premature. Uh, we've used it for many pieces of equipment that we need to help get children better. What's uh, today's experience like for you and the other people from your unit that are experiencing it from a volunteer perspective? Yeah, it's been amazing. It's great to finally be out and have this event in person. Um, COVID's really stopped and put a damper on some of those things and this has been exciting to see kids. Uh, we really want kids to come through the Teddy Bear Hospital to make sure that, you know, healthcare is not a scary thing for them. So we really want to make it normalized for them to see how to assess their teddy bears and to see real healthcare professionals in action. Beyond the money raised, uh, is that an important message for the foundation and, and for your unit? Absolutely. Is that we're not a scary place to be, that we're here to make people feel better so that they can go home and live a normal, healthy, happy life. Any cute experiences this morning with some of the kids? Yeah, they're really excited about the casting, so we keep uh, they keep wanting to cast all the limbs of their teddy bears, which have been really fun and exciting to see. The kids not only met the challenge of the course, but they collectively raised over $48,000. If you were to sum up your Saturday here at Burgoyne Woods in a sentence or two, how would you go about it? What would you say? I would say it's pretty fun and it's also pretty muddy. I would just say uh, exciting. What was that? the best part of it? Probably the, the rope swing. Um, the mud. The mud? Jersey, how cold was that uh, water from the fire truck? Cold, pretty cold. It, it was pretty fun. Um, I got really muddy. <laughs> it was pretty fun, just like we got to clown around, just like swing across a mud pit and crawl on paint. <laughs> What's uh, your favorite part of the day? I think my favorite part is just watching the kids at the start line, how excited they are. And I think this year is even more special because we're back in person and uh, they are just pumped seeing them come up the hill and see the bouncy castles and the start line and uh, get off and running is just great. Very excited for it. The foundation will now meet with members of the Children's Health Unit to come up with a plan for the funds raised and then start to turn their attention to the Big Move Cancer Ride scheduled for September. In Niagara, you're watching The Source on your TV.